Is it finished? Is the Warden dead? The Warden's defeat is a great victory for us, nay, for all of humankind. But there are many more Ethereals out there, some much more powerful than Krieg. Perhaps more disturbing, though, there are those of our own kind who would see us dead to take what little we have, or just for the pleasure of killing. Among the innocent who passed through this prison on their way to Krieg's lab were many violent criminals, murderers, and worse. Many of them escaped to the northwest after the grim dawn, forming into ruthless gangs who prey upon drifters still traveling the roads. Since a river separates us and them, they have not been a problem thus far. Except we need farmers to get back to the business of growing food before we all starve to death. The farmland that supplied this region is to the northwest, and we need to secure a hold there. Mornay recently returned from Old Arcovia to the northwest and can give you details on the outlaw situation and what needs to be done. I realize that you have been through much in recent days, but we cannot rest just yet. Come see what's left of my wares. Lazy assistant is finally back from her little trip. Good, good. I'll put her back to work. She mentioned you. You should speak with her. So you must be the kid that's causing a stir in my absence. You've done good by dispatching Creek. I knew that man in life. I dread to think of what he had become as an ethereal. Aye, an old mess has come back to finally bite us right in the ass. The river's kept them at bay for now, what with a broken bridge. It seems the bastards have garnered a taste for the one hole in the world they were once so eager to escape. I'm not going to beat around the bush. We're at war, and if we don't take the fight to them, they will surely bring it to us. I'd much rather fight on my own terms, wouldn't you? Before we do anything, we'll need to get that bridge repaired. Got men ready to do the work and some scrap to get you started. Just need to provide the remaining raw materials. Once that's all finished, I need you to enter the Arcobian foothills and show those bastards we're not a prize for the taking. Last I saw of them, they were mobilizing for something big across the river. Why don't you head on over there and introduce yourself? Speak at last. 
As I am sure you know, there are many who now cast their gaze upon you, traveler. Or should I say, taken. Some who mean you ill. Some who fear your potential. Then, there are those who command me. They have taken great interest in your accomplishments. It appears you may be just the one we require. I cannot speak of such things in this place. The cursed gaze of our foes is cast upon us here. So, I will be brief. Great powers are gathering within the distant lands of the fallen Corvan people. And the Great Eye has decreed that you must play a part, whatever that may be. Will you answer our summons? Will you join me through the portal? Or do the mortal concerns of these people outweigh the calls of fate?
Well, did they like our housewarming gift? You work fast. I like that. We'll need more of that for what's coming next. Darius Cronley. Last I've seen his face, they almost hung him for a double homicide. The Warden intervened at the last minute in favor of a life sentence in Devil's Crossing. Seems there were ulterior motives after all. Darius Cronley is the Devil Made Manifest, devious and manipulative with a penchant for sin of every kind. He's the one running this gang, and he's the one we need to go after next. We have to hit them hard and fast, leave no room for a counter-strike. I've only seen a portion of their operations in the region, but they are really entrenched on the four hills in Old Arcovia. Shank surely wasn't Darius's only lieutenant, so I suggest you find the rest and kill them. We don't want one of them taking over after Darius is dealt with. I don't have any names for you, but they will probably have equally clever prison names as our dead friend Shanks. But to really end this, you need to cut off the head of this operation, Darius Cronley. If what I hear is true, you will find him hiding out in the mines underneath the Four Hills. Lastly, my scouting partner, Elsa, must still be out there with them. If I venture to guess, Cronley has her in his clutches. Save her from that route. I hear you are quite capable, so don't let me down. When you find yourself out there, I recommend you seek out a man by the name Quaid. He and his group forsook the peaceful ways of the rovers in favor of fighting back against the outlaws. And I'm glad they did. It was Quaid's people that pulled me from the jaws of death. Thank you.